Hello guys, I'm Ismail and in today's video actually I will be showing you the space frame structure. The reason why I'm, I'm recording this video because there is a structure like it at the, at the library of our university and kind of every day I see it and I really fall in love with this structure because how it works and uh, the way of, uh, the way of it and even the shape of it is really amazing and I said why not just to share it with you and let us as students understand these structures and even understand the details of them that really something can uh, make our life easier so starting off from here I just was just showing you that the distance between the first wall and the second wall is really huge it's approximately 13 uh, meter and uh, also that there was no any column at the middle and actually this is one of the reason of this structure here I just was showing you also the placement or the placement of, of uh, the columns which was kind of if we just consider that area as a rectangle at the uh, edges of this rectangle and here actually I was just recording and, and put in your consideration about the structure and where it ends it ends actually on that beam which connect this column between each other and here actually we can see the skylight and also of course okay we do have that artificial light but even that skylight really provide an amazing light and even it give that huge light um, into the space and as a starting point of this structure we can see that octagonal shape which was kind of a starting point of this structure and then there is another octagonal sh octagonal shape which was bigger than it and then another one which let's say was the biggest one and then these members which connect uh, this part between each other and which make of course the triangular shapes and also the connection which was uh, the threaded one and also we do have another two types I'm gonna put this picture just for you just to understand it more better talking about these members which make the connection of, of uh, this structure uh, it wasn't at the same diameter and um, maybe there was um, maybe four or five uh, shapes or diameters of these members which was uh, maybe like a bigger one and then a smaller one and I think it was because of the weights because different weights of the roofs that's why they use the engineers just use different um, shapes or different diameter and actually let's let me just say something actually I was recording and talking at the same time until I just came home and I found that my sound is not clear because I couldn't talk that mu uh, much loudly actually because I couldn't because it's a library so we cannot talk, talk there even it was Sunday so there was even nobody there but I couldn't talk uh, and here we are in another place at the library and uh, I just was focusing and zooming in uh, to let you just know and um, see these details and here also we do have this skylight which I really fall in love with it let us again just have a look about the connections and the type of them and we do have three connections as you see we do have the threaded one which was the same of that structure and we do have the bolted one and the welded one uh, also about the structure itself it's a lightweight structure and it can give us the ability just to cover that huge area without any interruption from any column or any structural uh, member and the flexibility actually and the strength of that structure behind this triangular shape this triangular shape which give us give the structure itself that flexibility and uh, strength 